Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is crashing or if the game is not loading in my eyes, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to verify the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam Maker, right click on the game select properties, go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now the next step is to delete the config file. Now to delete the config file, you can open file explorer in a computer. Go to documents folder. Over here you can see WWE 2K25, open this folder. Now over here you will you will find config. So in my case, I have renamed it. So you will see this config. You can make a right click, either uh, you can delete this or you can just rename it. You will lose all the saved settings. So if you want to create a backup, you can copy it and maybe paste it to the desktop. Now once you have a backup, now you can just rename it or you can even delete this file and now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to disable steam cloud backup the save game files and then delete the save game folder but you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree only then you can do this and then you have to restart the game so if the game is running close the game first and then disable steam cloud now for this you can make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to general tab over here you can see steam cloud you can turn this off now once this is off go to the game installation folder now for this uh, sorry go to the save game location now for this you can open file explorer in computer now once you open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users, uh, sorry, open the program file 686 folder. Now open the Steam folder. Now open user data folder. Now over here, open your Steam ID folder. Over here, you will find this 28789960. So this is the folder. Now you can create a backup for this because this has all your save game files. So create a backup of this folder so make a right click copy this and then maybe paste to the desktop now once you have backup over here now you can delete this folder make a right click and then delete it and once you delete it all the save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch but you already have a backup so if whenever you want to put it back you can put it back so delete this folder now once this is deleted now you can restart the game and then check this has worked for many players so if the game is crashing in my eyes then that should it should fix the problem next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website install these visual studio files so download this x86 and x64 version so download this x86 and run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well now again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed now both are installed then you can close this So here you can see install. Now you can close this. Now restart your computer. Restart your must after this. After the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11. In Windows 10, click on update and security. Now click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. At the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. And then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed. In my case, the game installed in C drive, in Steam folder. And then this is the location. Now open the game folder. Select the game exe file. And then click on open. 
Once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then open control panel. Now go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings at the top. Now click on allow another app and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added so in my case yeah it's added once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so make a right click on the steam on the game and then manage browse local files and then make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work in that case this time select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check still not working then this time you can just make a right click once again this time you can type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users can first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added find the game in the list once the game is added click on the game over here and over here you can see gpu preference select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here now launch the game and then check next step is to close the exe file in task manager if there is any and then launch the game once again sometimes the game is running in the background and you don't see it so make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager now if you see the game over here like wwe 2k25 you can just make a right click and then click on end task this is just an example i don't have the game running if you have it then end it and then launch the game also delete the crash pad file now for this go to game installation folder and then open once you open the game folder here you can see crash pad make a right click copy this folder first create a backup first in my case i already have a backup now once you have a backup for crash pad now you can delete this crash pad and then you can launch the game if you face any problem you can put the folder back whenever you want and then check now the next step is to unplug all the external devices so 
so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected which you're not using disconnect it disconnect extra controllers sometimes we have extra controller connected the usb dongle connected yes. disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it if you're undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the general tab here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on you can turn this off also if you have any other overlay application running like discord running you can turn off this overlay in discord settings if you have geforce experience running or if you have nvidia app running you can go to settings and then over here you can see nvidia overlay you can turn this off or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running or if you have reverb tuner running sometimes it's hidden if you have reverb tuner running then sometimes it it's hidden over here i'll show you so you can make a right click on msi afterburner close it if you have reverb tuner running over here close it or you can simply close all the other overlay application overclocking application and then launch the game next step is to this is for amd users you, you can install this amd optional update optional update um, over here is amd 25.2.1 you can search in google go to amd website and then scroll down over here you can see this optional update click on it and then once the download is complete you can run this exe file install it restart your computer and then launch the game if that does not work in that case you can even try to install this amd optional update that is 25.1.1 optional update go to amd website and then scroll down and then you can click on it and then once the download is complete run this exe file install it and then restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version this is very important so go to windows update or update and security in windows settings then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game right now the current version latest version is version 24h2 so update your windows to version 24h2 and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 
Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then install the latest BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to any other drive like E drive, F drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.